We're super excited to have interior designer Jan Turcott. Jan is a experienced residential and commercial designer right here in Orange County. She's also a certified color specialist, certified in feng shui. She's also an instructor in interior design at Saddleback Community College. And Jan is our Sac and Stone team resident designer and stager. She's the one that puts the magic behind our properties when we put them on the market and create maximum exposure. So before I go any further, I think it's time to have join, join Jan, join us in the studio and tell us what can we do as we fall into fall here to really put that extra punch into our homes. Absolutely. Absolutely. Welcome, Jan. Hey, Scott. Hey, Lane. How are you? It's nice to see you. Thank you for Great. having me today. Doing Welcome. good. Thanks for joining us live. So, you know, for fall, our houses are, um, it's a great way to add some perk. And with all of the fires that have been happening around lately, it's a good time to maybe wash down the front of your house. Um, and by doing that, it really brings in also a lot of new energy and it cleans everything up and it just makes it feel very, very fresh. And since it's fall, it's a great way to add, um, you know, some new little decor items around your front door. For example, you can pick up a pumpkin and also decorate it like I did for, um, you know, for the, for fall. And then when you're tired of the fall look, you can take this off and you can make it more of your holiday look too. You can paint this with a bright blue paint and do, do, um, snowflakes and different things like that but then also you could paint it red and green for christmas and um so you can use um the pumpkins for mostly to fall and then in when for christmas and for the um for that time you can use these gourds and these can work for halloween thanksgiving as well as christmas by adding some red decorations if you want so you can always brighten up your front door with um those nice inexpensive way to um to decorate it from picking these up at Trader Joe's or at the grocery store or Home Depot. And then also adding a new um, welcome mat. I mean, we haven't had a lot of visitors in our home because of the quarantine, but things are starting to lift a little bit, but also it just makes our house feel so much better. It invites the energy in when it says, welcome to my home um, with your mat. And then also another way to perk up your house inexpensively is to paint your front door a new color. Um, it adds a nice new fre fresh feel. For instance, see these pictures here. Um, you know, depending upon the style of your home, you could do a red, you could do blue, you could do green, or if you want to be really bold, you could do a yellow. But it's a nice way to really just freshen up your front door and without repainting the entire your entire home. And um, so that's one really fun way to really just freshen up the front of your house. Awesome. Well, I do have a couple of questions following up some of the things you mentioned regarding pumpkins. Um, obviously, we're ready for them now. It's the fall. It might not feel like it now. I, I guess Scott said he felt a little bit of a brisk in the air, but it's been really hot for me here. Um, how long, you know, if, the, if we're ready for pumpkins now and we can use them through the fall, we can use them through the holidays. When should the pumpkins be put away? January 1st? Is that when we're putting them back away? Oh, yeah. January 1st. Definitely. I mean, um, they're going to last maybe maybe through the middle of December if you get them for right now. But it just depends upon how clean you keep them. And, um, you know, they do start to degrade. They say kind of just kind of die on their own and they get mushy. So you want to check those out so you don't get mush on your front doorstep. But now, would you say the white ones are the best for long term use because maybe you can put a different color on them or oh, yeah, definitely you can paint these with um, you can go to Michael's and get some um, acrylic paint and just paint them very easily. And um, so you can add orange and you can add you know yellow and you can add green. But then for for the holidays, you can do a bright blue, as I said, for snowflakes or if you want, you can do red and green or you can even glue things on top like I did with um, with this. I used this last year and saved it for this year. And now you can just decorate your pumpkin all over again and reuse all of that, um, those um, succulents and so forth. You can even spray paint it with glitter and make it more, um, you know, sparkly for the holidays. So they're really, really flexible and functional and you can easily use this anywhere. And it just adds a nice little soft, fun, um, soft touch to the house. It makes it feel really cozy. 
I think that's great because we're also looking for activities to do at home right now too. Maybe there's not as many things to do outside of home. So we can decorate our pumpkins and, and continue to do so for the rest of the year. Um, now, when we're talking about welcome mats, is it, are you safe to use a seasonal welcome mat? Is it okay if there's fall leaves or pumpkins on there? Or would it be better to have maybe a generic standard welcome mat at the front door that just looks newer? No, I mean, I think if you have seasonal mats, absolutely. I mean, I think they're fresh, they're fun. I mean, there's some really cute ones for Halloween. They say boo and, you know, for um, for Thanksgiving, they have, you know, cornucopia ones or ones that just say Thanksgiving, we're grateful, we're thankful. And for the holidays, you, you know, the holidays, it's great, you know, um, you can use the snowflakes or, but if you, if you're on a tighter budget and you just want a fresh new, um, welcome mat, you can just get one that says welcome and you can use that all year round. So it's, it's depending upon your budget and what you want. Um, but I think a new welcome mat that says welcome on it is a great way to invite all of the energy into your house and to bring all of that, that freshness, um, inside. Is there a store or an online website or something that you tend to lean towards and go to, to more often than others for these type of things? Um, you know, I mean, uh, Target always has great seasonal things. Um, there's also uh, at home that I go to up in Foothill Ranch. They have tons of, of but online, we can basically get a lot of things online, Etsy, and um, has a lot of fun um, welcome mats. I just bought a new welcome mat for for our house, and um, I got it off of Etsy. Oh, awesome! I've got a quick ad, Jen. I know in our notes here you had mentioned you know, washing down the garage and the front door, and I was actually doing an assessment outside of my house the other day, and I noticed up under the eaves and the gutters and everything, it's looking really kind of yucky, a little bit of dark gray, some spider webs and whatnot. And I'm actually going to be having a family Thanksgiving on my outdoor patio this year to work with the current situation and everything. And I noticed that, that freshening up the porch kind of can extend to the rest of the exterior of the home if we're going to be using those areas in our mild climate here. Yes, I think washing down the outside of the house, I mean, with all the soot that's from all the fires around us, I mean, you wouldn't really notice it, but but you need to wash down your house and um, it just freshens everything up completely. And by doing that, it's part of feng shui. It brings in new energy and new prosperity for your home. So it freshens up the front and brings up new chi, brings in new energy. So it's a great way to, um, to freshen things up and to, um, to open up your opportunities. And I know a lot of us are looking to end this 2020 year and start fresh in 2021. So that's a good way to do it with your home too. Yeah. Uh, when, when talking about the painting the front door, um, are you, in a perfect world as an, in, as an interior designer, how often would you consider painting your front door and how often should you look into maybe switching up the color based on trends? Oh, you know, it just depends upon your personal taste, your home. And some people like to change up their front door every couple of years. I have a client that calls me every two to three years. Okay, Jan, it's time to change my front door color. What are we going to do this year? And um, you, if, if it's something that you change out frequently, then you can go bold and wild. But if it's something that you only do maybe every couple of every, you know, 10 years or every five years, then go set with something that's a little more neutral, um, a, a blue or um, a taupe color or um, even black and, and red. I mean, those go with lots of color schemes. So it, it's a personal preference. It's the style of your home. Um, you kind of need to look at the style to figure out if something is, is going to look right. If you have a, a Tuscan style home, putting a, a bright red front door on your Tuscan style home is not going to look good. So uh, so you need to stay into the art, look into the architecture of the home and, and figure out what's going to complement it best. And also, if you live in an association, you need to wa um, watch those um those guidelines carefully to make sure that your association has approved colors that you can use for your color, your front door. Cause you don't want to paint your front door orange. And then all of a sudden your association says, no, you can't do that. And you've got to repaint it and spend all that money again. So that's a great tip. I mean, some, some associations have a small palette to choose from. Yeah. Very um, small. Yeah. 
So in recapping really quickly, as far as the refreshing the exterior of your house, we talked about washing down the garage and the, and the front doors. Uh, Scott added a little tip about under his patio. Uh, we talked about fall decor items, uh, welcome doormats, painting your front door. Is there anything else to add before we maybe head inside the home? No, I just think um, uh, making your home as welcoming as it possibly can from the curb always is a great thing. It's great for the family. It's great for you. You drive up to your front, your house, and you're like, oh, I love my house. I love the way it looks. It always adds that pop, you know, adding those. Um, I added my little fall decor to my front door a couple weeks ago, and I was like, oh, I just love the way it looks now. And then, you know, when holidays come, you want to spruce it up. It brings, you know, a, a feeling of warmth and energy. And um, it just makes it feel fresh again. So changing it up just gives it a freshness. And maybe even a little landscape spruce too with some dark mulch and some colorful plants and stuff too would Absolutely. also feel great. 